Fancy Nancy, explore extraordinaire. Everything in this book is scientifically accurate. That's a fancy way of saying it's all true. Bonjour, everybody. Welcome to our club. Bree and I love to go exploring in the wild. We collect leaves, watch birds and butterflies, and inspect insects. If you're like us, then you can be an explorer extraordinaire too. Love, Nancy. Bree and I are the founding members of a club. That means we started it. So far, we are the only members. Freddie and my sister really want to join. We say, maybe, for safe to prove they are mature enough. Mature is fancy for acting grown up. What does an explorer extraordinaire need? Essential. Long sleeve shirt and pants. A text can get on you. Notebook and pen for writing field notes. Baseball cap or sun hat. Not essential. Camera, binoculars, glamour, sunglasses, rusty, lace gloves, magnifying glass. Little maracas for when we feel like dancing. Frenchy. Just because you're exploring doesn't mean you can't be fancy. I almost forgot the most important thing. Every club needs a clubhouse. It's absolutely essential. Here's a map of our territory. That's fancy for the places where we can go. We only go exploring in our backyards and Mrs. Devine yard. Bree's house, my house, Mrs. Devine's house. Bree's room. My room, porch, mail basket, elm tree, vegetable basket, pre rock garden, roasting, oak tree, wildflower garden, honey locust tree, vegetable garden, kinko tree, herb garden, gate. Rule number two No band club thinks bugs are gross. That's just immature, which is fancy for babyish. First, we look for insects. Insect is the real word for bug. All insects have wings, antennae, and six legs. We see an ant hole, so we sprinkle some sugar. Voila, here come the ants. Ants love sweet things. Me too. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. What do you call a 100-year-old ant? An antique. That's a fancy word for something really old. The head ant is the queen, but she doesn't have a crown or anything fancy. She lays all the eggs. Rule number three, no touching, just looking. Ants live underground in a group called a colony. Freddy wants to help the ants get back home, but that's against club rules. My sister scribbled here, she thinks it's real writing. We see lots of flies by the garbage cans. They zoom around so fast. Bree couldn't get the picture. Flies can walk on ceilings because of sticky pads and tiny claws on their feet. I observe. That's a fancy word for watch. A ladybug on a leaf on a tomato plant. This ladybug has one black spot on each wing. Once, I saw a ladybug with black wings and red spots. Mumps is a good luck if a ladybug lands on you. Both club members do not think that is scientifically a carrot. Ladybugs eat insects that are bad for plants. Ladybugs I have seen. My sister is pointing at something. It is a spider. In the web, there is a dead bug. My sister says, Yuck. But we explain that this is just a part of nature. S spiders eat insects that are pests, like flies. You probably think spiders are insects, but guess what? They're not. They have eight legs, not six, and no wings or antennae. Nancy's sweet piece. Exploring in the wild makes us very thirsty and hungry, so we need to stop and have refreshments. That's fancy for snacks. We do some research now. That means we read about what we've seen. Bree's book says we saw an orb spider. Here is the photo Bree took of it. Orb spider. Nancy's extra fancy lemonade. A can of pink lemonade and water. A little cranberry juice to make it hot pink. Raspberries. Two per cup of lemonade. A teacup to drink it in. Cookies to eat with it. Rule number four. Crying is not allowed, unless there's a very good reason. My sister and Freddy fight over the last cookie. We tell them if they want to go with us to Mrs. Devine's garden, they better stop. Mrs. Devine's flower garden is full of butterflies. Bree and I adore butterflies. A monarch butterfly. This is a giant solar tail. And this is a red admiral. I took these pictures. Rule number five. We never catch butterflies because they are fragile. 
That's a fancy way of saying they get hurt easily. Many people don't think butterflies are insects because they are so pretty, but guess what? They are insects. All butterflies start from an egg that turns into a caterpillar. The caterpillar spins a cocoon around itself. The scientific name is chrysalis. I think that word is so beautiful and fancy. And when the chrysalis breaks open, voila, there's a butterfly. I will probably be a lepidotopicist when I grow up. That's fancy for a scientist who studies butterflies. Plain caterpillar, even plainer chrysalis, fancy butterfly. Lookalikes. Is it a butterfly? When butterflies land on something, their wings stay up. You see butterflies during the day, they have colorful wings. Or is it a moth? When a moth lands, its wings stay flat. You see moths much more at night. They like to flare in lights. A lot of moths have plain brown wings, but some moths are very colorful. Butterfly hunting ensemble. I went to a butterfly farm once with my grandparents. If you go to one, here's what you should wear. I have sprayed with a little perfume to attract butterflies. Bright color for glows, so the butterflies think you're a giant flower. Part of Mrs. Devine's garden is for wildflowers. Wildflowers grow all by themselves without any help from people. You don't have to buy seeds or anything. Lots of wildflowers have such fancy names. Foxglove, Lady Slipper, Forget Me Not, Queen Anne's Lace. Oh. I don't really like forgetting you not. I don't like lace slipper, foxglove, or queen and lace. Oh no! Look, at Freddy and my sister T. They picked some flowers without asking. That is strictly against club rules. Mrs. Devine is not a mad, but we are. Neither of them can be in the club. They are not mature enough. Lunchtime. My mom takes my sister and Freddy home. We go to Bree's house and after lunch we will check the bird feeder in her backyard. Maybe some birds are having their lunch. Bree may be an ornithologist when she grows up. That's a scientist who studies birds. Cookie cutter bird feeder. You need stale bread, cookie cutters, yarn, and a straw. Make cookie shapes from stale bread with your cookie cutters with a straw make a hole in the bread. Tie yarn through the bread. Now hang your bird feeders in the branches. The tree will look like a Christmas tree for birds. Pinecone bird feeder. You need peanut butter, a pinecone corn meal, bird seed, and wire. Smear peanut butter all over the pinecone. Roll it in a mixture of corn meal and bird seed. Ask a grown up to wrap a wire around the top. Hang it high in a tree so other animals can't get at the bird. What makes birds special? Birds are the only animals with feathers. The fancy word for feather is plume. They also have light hollow bones. One of the reasons we can't fly is because our bones are too heavy and we don't have wings. Today we see a robin and lots of sparrows. Pigeon, robin, sparrow. Why do hummingbirds hum? Because they don't know the words. Tee hee. It starts to drizzle. So we go back to our clubhouse. We pretend not to see Freddy and my sister. We read about hummingbirds and learn many facts that are fascinating. That's even fancier than interesting. Hummingbird, the official bird of a club. They love red flowers. So far, we have only seen hummingbirds at the zoo, but they are still our favorite birds. Why? They are so petite. That's French for little, and their wings are iridescent. That's a fancy word for shiny. How petite is a hummingbird? Without feathers, most of the size of a bumblebee. They can take a bath and a leaf. A nest is the size of a walnut shell, and their eggs are smaller than jelly beans. They fluff their wings up to 200 times a second. Amazing. They don't hum. A humming sound comes from their wings beating so fast. Rule number six. We don't pull off leaves. Trees need them to make food. The rain seems to be stopping, but we wear our raincoats anyway because we look so cheek. That is French and fancy for fashionable goodie. The storm last night has knocked off leaves for us to collect. I am practically a leaf expert. Trees whose leaves fall off are called deciduous. I love that fancy word almost as much as chrysalis. See the pages on butterflies. All the leaves here come from trees in our backyards. Ginkgo leaves look like fans. Mrs. Devine makes tea from the fruit. Elm, honey locust, maple, and coal. Trees with leaves that don't fall off are called evergreens. Evergreen. 
get to the leaves look like needles, Christmas trees, or evergreens. Don't you love their wonderful aroma? That's fancy for smell. Evergreens all have pine cones. Once I painted a big one gold and glued on glitter. Gorgeous. A self portrait. That's a picture of me, drawn by me. The lavish leaf crown. You need leaves, glue, glitter, tape, and construction paper. Cut a paper crown from a piece of construction paper. Make the strip of the crown long enough to fit around your head. Tape the ends together. Put some glue on pretty leaves. Glue on glitter. Tape or glue leaves on the crown. Voila. Bree and I here, Fritti and my sister calling us. They found something, something exciting. Wow, they have found a baby robin. It has fallen from its nest. Baby robins. We can see the nest. The mother robin must be frantic. That's fancy for very, very worried. We call my mom and she knows just what to do. She puts the baby back in the nest. Now it is safe. My mother explains that some animals won't care for their babies after a person has touched them, but birds aren't like that. Hooray for mom. My sister and Freddy jump up and down. Please, please, can't we join the club now? Even though they broke some club rules, they did find their baby Robin, which is the most exciting thing we observe. So Pri and I take a vote. It's unanimous. We both vote yes. We make official cards for the new members just like us. They are now exposed extraordinary.